Good morning, folks. Let's begin with the recap looking back at the Colorado floods from September. Good day by day and accumulation report here showing just why things got so bad. The topic complements nature's freight train. Article here about the destructive force of mud, debris, and biological life swept by floods after a deluge hits a burn scar from wildfires. This article is a top recommendation. Also, folks, this is an ice on photo by Tom K. He has joined Gary and Whitmer, aiding those of us who want to actually learn something and track the progression of this comet. As always, check their site daily. It's linked below. Bruce, your emails are well received and appreciated. Trust me, all of us love you. Government shutdown meant the state of the climate for September slipped through my fingers. It's mostly a precipitation report, but worth taking a peek back even as we are at the end of October now. Sticking with weather, UK now knows I wasn't kidding about that cresting low pressure. Damage can be found all over and we have one dead already as a child is believed to have drowned and swept away in strong currents. I am most worried today about the southern tail to that leading east convergence as it crosses the main continent. For the first time in days, the entire Indian coastline is not covered in storms. Flood damage is done though. Meanwhile, south of that, we see our first southern cyclone having hit a wall and refusing to come any further west. Suppose that's not really a bad thing. How long has it been since this much rain happened in northern Australia? Apart from some coastal showers, those high pressure cells have dominated this region for a while. New Zealand will see some coalesced remains later in the week. On to the Americas, where we begin in the Pacific with that megalo pounding the coastline near Alaska. Now much of that moisture is left up in Canada and is dusting parts of the nation now, but a good bit is funneled southward by the clockwise high pressure, gets to the Rockies where it's meeting warm, moist air driven mostly from the East Pacific and a bit even perhaps from the Gulf. What you end up with is a severe watch at the most stark convergence of differing air masses, and just about everywhere the energy doesn't match up, you're cold enough for snow. Quickly on to space weather. Muon density nearly pushing 102, those are relatively high levels. We have our first distinctly recognizable interplanetary shock of the bunch. It was an almost denseless CME but ramped the speed and plasma temperature sure enough. No geomagnetic instability from this little solar love tap or any of the others allegedly on the way. All we do have is continued high energy proton instability. However, that's more likely due to the flaring, not the incoming CMEs. We took another X flare this morning and a double M5 sunspot flare event. Both came from the departing groups, finally showing signs of life after letting the new guys take over days ago. What a good way to say goodbye, with that double M blast likely creating the larger CME. NASA's endless spiral shows potential glancing blow. It is indeed frustrating without the SDO website, but Helio Viewer is working. So is the Gong H Alpha, which is actually the only real-time solar scope not owned by private individuals. SXI is online as well. The only thing you really can't replace is the sunspot classifications. There is simply nothing that comes close to a colorized magnetogram lined up with the visual spectrum of an intensity gram. This is what we settle for given the lack of proper classification tools. The other thing we still have is iris still giving us just the slit jaw images, but they are hopefully still planning on releasing the better shots here soon. Something else. With their last public image from the 24th, I wonder where all the shots of those recent bigger solar flares are. You guys aren't editing out electrical discharges and things like that, are you? Hmm. Shots of our star to close? Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.